Hey guys, so today I'm going to be decoding a master 1534D. It's just another one of those master set your own combo locks with a little bit of a different twist than some of the others have. I'd say it's definitely the most challenging combo lock that I've gotten open thus far. Not that it's super challenging compared to some others that are out there, but I do find it pretty difficult to figure out which disc is the binding disc on these and the feedback when you actually get the correct um, setting on the disc, like the correct combo number or letter, is a little bit more muffled than on some of the other ones. But um, this is one that I've had some practice with before, so I think I might remember the binding order. So just a little bit of a disclaimer there. Um, but let's see if we can get this open. Normally I'm in a better position here, but to get the camera going, I need to be in a little bit of an awkward one. So we'll start on this one. Okay, felt felt a little bit of a movement on three. And here's the thing with these that you can really tell versus some of the other master combo locks. Let me fix the camera a bit. Is that um you kind of find yourself in a little bit of a trap when you're in the true gate and it'll be hard to turn the disc anymore. So I get like stuck right here, I get stuck right there. So it's definitely three. So let's keep going now. I think that's eight. I'm stuck on eight now, so that's definitely it. And the thing with this lock is I'm pretty sure the binding order is left to right. But that's also the direction I'd go in anyway. So like I think I think I remember it, but at the same time, I don't think it'd make a huge difference. I'm stuck on three, so I must have already been on it. And me getting this open. Eight. And there we go. Three eight three eight exclamation point. Um so yeah, not not too difficult to get open. Like I said, to be fair, this is a lock I've had some experience with before. Uh, so I did I did kind of have a memory of the binding order there, but I usually go left to right anyway. Um. So yeah, that's a, it's a it's not, I wouldn't say it's a bad lock, especially for master lock. I don't think it's bad because. Um, I, I or let me let me put it this way. I don't think it's as bad as some of the other master combo locks because some of the other ones before that I showed you guys, you you could really clearly just tell when you had the number. With this one, the biggest flaw is that you just get trapped whenever you pick the right one. So the binding disc is a little bit harder to tell, but once you have the right number, let the fact that you get stuck on it, that's that's the problem with this lock. If they could put in maybe like false gates, then I think this would actually be a really difficult lock to get open. But let me show you guys exactly how this lock works. Oh, and I guess I should mention I found a good use for this guard security padlock after all. It's very good for holding these combo locks in place. So if you look at that, it actually has a use. So let's let me show you guys how this works real quick. Because I actually think the way this works is actually kind of interesting. Um, I won't be taking it completely apart or anything because that would require some power tools. But pretty much, you just pull the end off of this and all these discs come off. If, apparently not that easily. And so these all have to be set to the red, which I assume is like that the true gate must be under here that allows us to open uh, but pretty much it just comes with like nine different discs and um, you can really just kind of put them on set your own combo each time you take it off and um, I don't know I think I think it's kind of an interesting cool feature on this lock um, I, I think it, I think it's very creative it's a very creative idea I'll give it that if it was only more secure I think it'd be a really cool lock um, and there's the inside there I don't know if that's, it looks like a kind of ball shaped thing, as you can tell also by the shackle. I don't know if it's like 
some sort of ball bearing. I tried to shim it, but I just couldn't get it open like that. Um, so if you guys have any idea, definitely let me know. But, but yeah, so that's the Master 1534D. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like it, drop a comment, and please subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Thanks.